Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. Embark on a journey to claim new spiritual territories. In Taking Over Territories, Apostle Joshua Selman reveals strategies for expanding God's kingdom. Learn how to navigate spiritual landscapes with divine guidance and wisdom. Empower yourself to break through limitations and establish God's presence in every area of life. Step into your destiny and transform the world around you, equipping you to take over and transform territories. Praise the Lord. As he was talking, the Lord told me to take off my shoes and to stand to minister without it. You see, the spirit of prophecy it's a very strange spirit you have to be spiritual to understand the things of the spirit the Lord just asked me to take off my shoes and to stand I said to minister without my shoes but you see the ways of the spirit spiritual things can sometimes be very strange that's why I love to minister all the time after Pastor Nathaniel because I love people who truly understand the things of the Spirit Father I hold the hands of Pastor Shola and we stand did you not say wherever our feet steps upon has been given mm. I stand by the spirit of prophecy stepping our feet upon this ground in the name that is above all names the spirit and the bride say come the spirit and the bride say come come to signs and wonders come manifested presence of God come thou Shekinah of the mighty one come liftings come restorations come breakthroughs come speed come open doors come the spirit and the bride says come the spirit and the bride says come mantles come graces come let this house be a tabernacle of power let this house be a tabernacle of grace and I knock if anyone hears my voice he says and opens I will come in even so come Yeshua come even so come take your bride away how my soul longs to see my God, even so, come Yeshua, come. Even so, come Yeshua, come.
God From beginning to the end There's no place for our human You are God all by yourself that are here tonight and we honor you for doing what no man can do it is only marvelous in our eyes because it is the Lord's doing Father standing on this ground we declare have your way standing on this ground we declare take your place standing on this ground we declare thy kingdom come standing on this ground we declare let your glory be revealed standing on this ground let the sounds that have come even from the trumpet remain a cloud over this house call this place a tabernacle of miracles of signs and of wonders and tonight we declare as always that Jesus and him alone remains glorified lifted we honor you we celebrate your wisdom once again you have shown us that you are still alive that you are God there's no place for argument it takes a fool to say there is no God Lord we declare unashamedly you deserve the glory you deserve the honor therefore we stand knowing this is a ground that is blessed and we minister tonight by the spirit of grace let the sounds that come from this place reach the nations and in the name of Jesus we decree and declare Lagos hear ye house of David Lagos hear ye house of David we prophesy again Lagos 
hear ye house of David we speak by the spirit of prophecy Jesus said all that you have given me I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition and that's so that the scripture will be fulfilled we decree and declare even by the spirit of prophecy all who are connected to this grace hear the sound of the spirit like the bones in the valley of Ezekiel we speak arise O great ones the season has come arise O great ones from the length the breadth the south the east the west the north of this city arise they that will carry the fire for this season arise O great ones from within this house from around this city the Bible says where the carcasses are there the eagles will gather therefore we decree and declare again by the spirit of prophecy let the two leaf gates of this city be opened over this ministry we command a triumphant entry in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we speak to the gate Ephata be open in the name of Jesus we command the spiritual borders of influence over this land let there be a space for house of David in the name of Jesus Christ and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet and then he measured a thousand cubits and they were to my knees and he measured a thousand cubits again and it was to my loins and then he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river that was overflowing we declare that there be a connection from this house to the throne for Jacob said surely this is the house of God the gates of heaven Lord we decree and declare standing on this ground we do not make this likely this is a ground that has been occupied by people but we declare tonight that regardless of the allegiance and the loyalty and the fraternities on this ground let every other name fade away Let every other name fade away Prophet I, we nullify ordinances We nullify enchantment We nullify fraternity Around the spiritual border of this facility will soon be done prophesy let every name let every deity let every god let every covenant fade away blow like the wind your patterns you honor us with your glory and Lord I stand to testify by the privilege of the election of grace that the patterns have been honored therefore Lord we pray that your Shekinah like it was in the temple of Solomon let it rest in a new way upon this ministry in the name of Jesus Christ Amen and Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. Thank you so much for the discernment. You see, sometimes we don't do these things because we plan them. It is the burden that comes with the call. You are mandated to respond. It may not make sense. 
That's why you have to be spiritual. The Bible says the wind bloweth where it listeth. You cannot tell where it is going nor where it's coming. He says, So is one who is led of the Spirit. We're excellent people, we're organized people, but we're also sensitive people. We know when the Spirit is moving. And He does not come to a place as the tenant. When He comes, we back out. We take our pride and our achievements and stand back and allow His Majesty. I'll be here very briefly this night. But I want to share with us, I consider tonight to really be a minister's conference. Because what I'm about to share is very prophetic. It will be for a few minutes and then we'll pray. Taking territories. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. Such a mighty glory in this place. I truly sense an anointing in this place. There are people here who by reason of your connection to this ministry, that grace for territory, the grace that can give you a space within a city, that grace will come on you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it verse 3 and many people shall go and say come ye they will not be invited they will go and say come ye let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and he called it the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his path for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem scripture number 2 Numbers 33 from verse 50 Numbers 33 from verse 50 we read to verse 53 and the Lord spake unto Moses in the plain of Moab by Jordan near Jericho saying speak unto the children of the household of David and say to them when ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you and destroy all their pictures this is why I did what I did here and destroy their molten images and quit plug down their high places and ye shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land and dwell therein someone received this for I have given you the land to possess it scripture number 3 Joshua chapter 1 from verse 1 Joshua chapter 1 now after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua the son of Nun Moses' minister saying Moses my servant is dead now therefore arise go over this Jordan thou and all these people notice you are not going alone you and all these people now that the former is dead now that the former level has gone he says arise go over this Jordan thou and all these people unto the land which I do give to them even to the children of Israel we are reading to verse 4 every place that the sole of your feet shall tread upon that I have given unto you as I said unto Moses verse 4 from the wilderness and this Lebanon even to the great river the river Euphrates all the land of the Hittites and unto the great sea towards the going down of the sun it shall be your coast it shall be your coast father help us tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah just to share with us very briefly a few principles one of the things that I have learned about God is that God is a God of patterns working with God does not require creativity when you work with God your creativity 
in terms of your alignment with him is not required it is when it has to do with your legislature within this realm then you will need creativity inventing a path and asking God to honor it is the way to tragedy there is always a path to follow the Bible says to ask for the ancient paths that when you find them walk therein are we together now yes there is a system by which God leads men in the kingdom there is a way by which territories are allocated to individuals in the kingdom these things are not inventions they are not discoveries they are pathways to follow and that anyone regardless of background regardless of whatever it is you can believe you can understand you can engage and then you will find out that your life begins to become what prophecy said should be kingdom advancement is not only spiritual it is territorial please understand this the advancement of the kingdom is territorial that means that God is not only interested in establishing his spiritual kingdom across the hearts of men please understand he is also interested in taking over the socio-economy of a place the, the cosmos the landmass he wants his influence to also find expression there so in as much as his priority is to reach the hearts of men first it does not stop there he wants territory to come under the influence of his government are we together so that kingdom advance is not only spiritual it is territorial God is a God of territories he wants to institutionalize himself and his government within a physical landmass more than Christ finding expression in the hearts of men he desires that territories be allocated this is the reason why God does not only give us spiritual blessings he will allocate portions even on the earth please you have to understand this every time God wanted to meet with a man on earth he would ask him to find a territory that was conducive for that encounter you didn't meet God anywhere you wanted he would define a territory consecrated hallelujah praise the Lord and so you must understand that kingdom advancement like dominion is territorial believers for many years did not understand the power of territory is the reason why many nations today have been subject to governments and spiritual systems that are antichrist because the territorial dimension of kingdom advance was not part of the the scope of evangelism it was largely the gospel as the message enshrined in the hearts of men but the idea of territory was seen as carnal so when people had the opportunity to occupy territory they ignored it because they felt it was a spiritual kingdom and now they have risen many pharaohs in Africa who did not know Joseph it is important for you to understand that the name of the Lord is not only protected when you hallow it is protected when the territory the territory also hallows the name a territory can reject the name of the Lord hallelujah and so today you find churches you find several places and the name of the Lord is lifted but there is no there is no territorial witness the earth is a witness the earth is a worshiper and when the sound that comes from the earth is strange then the name of the Lord is not glorified please understand this the earth has a voice and the earth echoes the voice of its occupant if the occupant bows to Baal the earth will speak a strange incense to the heavens God is a God of territory please understand this God is not only the God of men he's a God of territories it's a very big mistake that we have made even in this country many of 
the denominations, respectfully speaking, ignored the place of territory in kingdom advance. And so many continue to pay for it again and again. We need to understand the territorial dimension of the dealings of God. The territorial dimension that God is institutionalized to the degree to which a territory receives Him. Land is a mystery. It's not about real estate. It's more than that. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Mm. But there are principles that can bring the influence of Christ over a territory and these are principles that we must understand. And I want to share a few of them tonight, just two really, and then we are going to pray. Do you know, do you know, Dubai and many parts of the world today that seem to be virgin areas occupied by water and all of that, the men came and created territories there. Are we together? They put earth on it and the earth called men to it. This is very powerful. I'm just thinking about the power of territory that so many people have ignored. Do you know, if you don't own land, it's not about being a bad businessman. It's a message. It's a spiritual message. It has nothing to do with business. Territory, see. We, we, we must be spiritual in our approach. Um, most times we think about things just from the standpoint of investment and business and all of that. It's more than that. It's more than that. The earth is the Lord's. So there must be a witness from the earth that he is Lord. And the only way the earth can testify is when the saints are able to occupy a landmass so that while you are singing, your earth is also singing. Are we together now? Did the Bible not say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. First you, the earth. But also God wants to see the earth as an element of the supernatural. Lift up a sound and say, We have established your dominion within this sphere. This is very important. If Lagos ignores territory, one day the earth will ignore God. Any city and any place that cannot exercise a level of territorial dominion is about to lose the mandate of God allocated for that territory. This is true. I come from the north and this is one of the things that happens a lot in the north. You would hardly find people, they would sell you anything but not land. Why? Because they understand that land is more than business. Are we together? They would sell you anything but not land. You are not an owner. You are not invited to any territory until land receives you. Please hear me. You remain a stranger in any territory until a land space receives you. Is that not true? That's why we pray for people to have the grace to have their own properties. It's more than business. If you see it just from a business standpoint, you will just say, Oh, amen, I'm tired of paying rent. It's more than that. You can be in a territory for 50 years. If you don't have your space, the territory still sees you as a stranger. So when God honors a man, he gives him three things. Number one, a message. Number two, an anointing. Number three, territory. He will allocate a territory spiritually and physically. When God promotes you, he increases the anointing. But he also increases your territorial reception. That means that a territory continues to receive you. Please let's understand this. I'm taking out time to just flog this out so that we will get this. Territory is very, very important. A territory can reject you. 
a territory can reject you so there are principles of territorial influence two of them that I will share tonight number one to exercise dominion and to take territories the first key is the power of prayer please write it down the power of prayer there is a warfare dimension of prayer that must be engaged by a believer if you are about to possess territories why because there is no territory that is empty just because men may not be there does not mean it is empty are we together there are spiritual forces please listen now and controlling powers that sit upon every territory these are the spirits people of god that control the minds influence the culture of a place you can know the controlling powers within a territory by seeing the patterns that cut across the people that live there there are territories where the men never become responsible this is not some village thing anywhere the moment you enter that city there are cities the moment you enter even with money money goes down many years ago I took a cab in Abuja up to 10 maybe 11 years ago and the man made a statement that surprised me we were talking and he said sir do you know that all the money I made have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.